If you love to explore the many different types of watercolor brushes, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you 13 different types of brushes and how they look on Saunders Waterford watercolor paper. Let's go! Hi, my name is Wynn and I help beginner watercolors grow their skill and confidence in watercolor. First up, we have the 3-0 Small Round Brush by Princeton Art and Brush Company. This is an affordable brush that is very tiny and easy to work in small areas. I really enjoy this one to create the branches on trees as well as details on leaves or anything that's really tiny and hard to reach. This is a great brush for that. The next up is also a round white Taclon synthetic brush by Princeton and Brush Company. And this is a number two round, which means that it's a little bit larger and easier to get some more of those details, but yet still use it for a little bit larger areas. So you can use the side of your brush to really create some interesting patterns and fill in some larger areas that's hard to reach. Next up, we have size one liner brush, which is a synthetic Kalinsky sable brush. So now, and this is also the Princeton Aqua Elite. Now we're getting into the nice details and really creating some fine lines. It's almost like a pinstriping tool. And next up, we have the number eight round brush. This is also a nice synthetic round brush, which means that it holds its shape and really has a nice bounce to it. It doesn't absorb as much of the paint, but it still keeps its shape really nicely. Great for leaves, as well as any flowers and foliage. And next up, we have the 12 round brush. Now we're getting into one of the larger brushes of Princeton Art and Brush Company, and it's synthetic white round brush. So that means that you can really create some larger flowers and really start to get work in some of those dry brushing. Next up, we have the silver black velvet round brush. It's in size number 12. This is natural squirrel and synthetic. So this means it still holds its shape, but absorbs a lot of the color and moisture. And you can see that you can create some really nice organic lines using this type of brush. This is one of the higher end brushes by Silver, brush, Silver Black Velvet. Next up, we have the flat three quarter stroke brush by Princeton Art and Brush Company. And I like to use flats when I wanna create some interesting patterns or designs and I'm really trying to do a nice wash or a sunset type of scene. Next up, we have the number six quill by Princeton Aqua Elite. And this quill is also a Kalinsky sable. So it's synthetic, which means that it's trying to mimic the really expensive Kalinsky sable brushes, but still has a nice shape and form. And you can see that it creates some nice edges and really nice forms with this brush if you want to create a nice tip at the very end. Next up is a unique brush, which is the Quarter Moderna brush by Royal and Lang Nickel. And this has some nice, interesting, it's been cut away in a way that uh, you can see different lines. So if you're trying to create textures and bricks and, and uh, wood grain, this is a great one. Next up is Master's Touch Quarter Dagger Brush. This is nice for creating those fine lines. It looks like smoke or fire, or you can create leaves and flowers with this. It's almost like a calligraphy pen in a way. So you can create some really interesting patterns. And this one is a very unique. This one's a aqua pen brush, which has water inside of it. And all you have to do is squeeze the side of it and water comes out. You still have to dip your brush in paint, but water is the thing that helps it move along. So you can create some interesting patterns. Just be careful as you're working not to suck up the paint as you keep pushing out the water. So it takes a little while to get used to this type of brush, but you can still create some interesting patterns and you can definitely play, paint a lot longer than a normal brush. Next up, we have the three quarter mop brush by Princeton Aqua Elite. This is great for dry brushing, as you can see, 
And this is a synthetic Kolinsky sable as well, which means that it can really absorb a lot of pigment or paint as well as water. So now I'm using it more as a wash brush. And lastly, we have the synthetic 3/8 Lowell Cornell Deerfoot Stippler Brush. So you can see how it looks like the foot of a deer walking through the forest. And it's a stippler brush, which means that you can really do a great amount of stippling or tiny dots on the surface. Or you can use it to just scratch the surface. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And if you found this information helpful, please hit that subscribe button so I can reach even more artists out there. And if you've been struggling with watercolor, I'd love to book a strategy call with you to see how I can help you build your confidence and skill in watercolor. See you in the next video.